Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the AIML, uh, the module for numerical which is about the nav based classifier. So you will be given with a uh, database like this and uh, you will be given with a new instance. Okay, and you have to classify that new instance as stolen or not. For example, see here it is given red, SUV and domestic. Red is the color, SUV is the type and domestic is the origin. You cannot find any of these, uh, the same uh, instance in any of these. Okay, so by using the previous instances you have to classify if this will be, if this is stolen or not. Okay, so let's have a look at how this works. Before that, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And before, uh, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So this is what a red SUV looks like. Let's have a look at this. And uh, the first step what you have to do when this type of question comes is you have to write this new instance somewhere else. Even if you feel it's a waste of time, still you have to write. After that, what you have to write is, is uh, what is the target function? Our target function is we have to uh, de um, detect if it is stolen or not, right? So that's what our target function, yes or no. After you have written this much, your uh, problem is very cakewalk. You have to just calculate how many yes are there and how many no are there. How many yes are there? One, two, three, four. So what is the probability of yes? Four by seven. How many no are there? One, two, three. What is the probability of no? Three by seven. After these two things probability of calculated, you have to calculate these three things probability as well. So red belongs to which category? Red belongs to color category, right? So you have to calculate a probability table for the color. Very simple. You have calculated yes or no. You just have to write here yes or no. I'll show you. See this. These three things you have to calculate. Okay. Color is given. You are calculating first for color. What are all the colors you will be writing here? And you will be writing yes or no here. And how many yes are there? Among that, how many red are there? See, very simple. What you have to just do is when you write yes here, just write uh, below that how many yes were there. Four were there, just write four. Here also write four. How many no were there? Three and three, right? Just write three and three. This much you understood. Then you see how many red and yes is there. One, red and yes, red and yes, red no, red no. Two yes, two no for red is there, right? So you will be writing uh, two uh, yes for uh, red and uh, for uh, no of uh, red what you will be writing is two of three why because two no were there right red and no and uh, red and no right that's what you will be writing here very simple uh, do the same thing for yellow also see here first see uh, yellow are three here present one is no and two is yes so you will be just writing two here and you will be writing one here four and three already you wrote right same thing after write four and three here also here also here also let's have a look for the type one in the type what you will be having sports and suv right in sports how many are there sports yes sports yes sports no sports yes three yes and one no right so three and one you will be writing here then suv also same one suv is here one suv one suv no yes no two no and one yes so one and two you'll be writing here same goes for origin two domestic are there and uh, two domestic yes two one domestic no is there and imported two is yes and uh, two no is there after creating this uh, probability table just have to apply one formula and you'll be having your answer what's that formula you have to write here as like this since two possibilities are there yes or no we will have to first calculate for yes then we'll be calculating for no then we'll be comparing which is greater that is the probability that's what we do right if you want to calculate probability we'll be calculating a probability of something being yes and a probability of something being no first we'll calculate what is the probability of something being yes given a new instance and remember the new instance is red suv and domestic the same things will be applying since we have yes here we'll be writing first probability of yes then we have red here so we'll be writing red and given yes has occurred and SUV yes has occurred and domestic yes has occurred these three probabilities easily you can find from this let's uh, let me help you how to do that Probability of yes, we have written here 4 by 7. You will be just writing here 4 by 7. Red and yes. Just see red and yes. What is their substitute here? SUV yes. What is their substitute here? 1 by 4. Domain yes. What is their substitute here? 2 by 4. Just calculate this and keep your answer as such. Do the same thing for the new instance. Just no here. More probability of no into red by no. SUV by no. Domestic by no. Calculate and keep your answer here. What is the greater answer? That will be your final answer. In this case, which is greater one? 0.035 or 0.063? Obviously, 0.063 is greater one. So that's what our final answer and uh, therefore the car is not stolen is the last thing you'll be writing here. For all the questions, do the same thing and make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.